We're here at DIV 55 Beauregard Farms. Ross Walker, what do we have here? What I came here for, I have never dug one around my neck of the woods. He's got his first ringtail and it's a drop. It's beauty. Ringtail. That was up there too? No, nope, you just dug oh. it. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that looks familiar. That's a modern. Okay, all right, yep. all right, some two round balls. Yep. Sweet. Right here, they took down some trees. Cut down a little patch of trees and we're just a little bit of some dirt. Look at this field, massive. Awesome, let's get back to it. Good morning or good afternoon. My name is Matt and welcome to Digging in Virginia 55, the lost footage. If you're unfamiliar what DIV or Digging in Virginia is, it's an organized invitational metal detecting event held twice a year right here in Virginia. And if you're lucky enough to be selected, you for a small fee you can travel out to one of the dig sites and experience hot ground relic hunting what we're going to attempt to do with this video is show you what hot ground relic hunting is the good the bad the ugly the unedited we hope you enjoy this video and we'll see you shortly target of the day i thought it was iron so i didn't know didn't really film it but it looks like a three right here and that's what it's gonna be. Looks dropped. Sweet. Number two, number two. Let's keep it going. Alrighty, I think this is gonna be a bullet. Let's hear it for you. Oh, I don't know. Sounded good just a second ago. That's what this dirt will do to you, man. Good gosh. Let's just try to pinpoint it. Nail. All right. It's been a while since the last find, but I got a half decent signal here. It's a high town. fragment well I'm gonna dig it all right Ross has a high tone in the hole it's got a little bit of a break to it I, mean, I think a lot of stuff does honestly out here can you hear it oh, sound good yeah it's got a little wobble to it now there it is that's why it sounded good oh fat piece of Stuff. That piece of crap. <laughs> Alrighty. We have a good bullet tone out of the hole. So let's go ahead and pinpoint. Oh, there it is. Ah, just a shot sharps. Fired sharps. We found a ringtail in here earlier. I was hoping to repeat that. But we shall take it. Sweet. On to the next. Alright, there's a high tone in here. This ground in here is just super tore up by the bulldozer, so it's actually super pretty easy. Now, while we're suffering through Matt's shoddy camera work, we are going to pay attention to the pinpointer. These pinpointers in this ground are extremely oh, difficult. You have to turn them down to about the lowest sensitivity you can. Sometimes you get away with two on the carrot. So Other tiny. pinpointers, you need less sensitivity. And in turn, what that means is it's really hard to use a handheld pinpointer to find these items. That coupled with loose dirt that is dry makes these pinpointers act even stranger and makes it more difficult to use. Mm. So, that's just a little insight as to uh, Got a pretty good why target you see here Matt having a... such a hard time with this pinpointer in these places, and it's uh, universal for everyone. Oh, well, no, that's not sounding kind of good. I'm still gonna dig it though. Ah, it's 
kind of weird sounding. See, now it sounds a little better. Dang, must keep missing it. It's got to be in this scoop. Oh, it's a button. Oh, it's toasted. Oh. Dang, these buttons and these some of these fields, man, just come out awful. Well, we got some brass on the board. First brass for the day. Let me check if it's working. Uh oh, finally. Something small. Buck. <laughs> A buck ball. Goodness. Those things are sure hard to find in a pile of dirt. I'll get back with you. It is. Look at me out here chasing these little buck balls, man. Well, they sound like some deep targets, but you gotta dig them. A nice carved one. Oh, look at this. Barb here's got a sweet carved bullet. Looks like it's got some eyes carved in it. Oh, maybe? Yeah. Look at those two eyes. That's super cool. I love carved items. They're so personal. Yeah. That might be a carved 69. What do you think? That's what Mark thought. If so, I got my pro 69. I got uh, three grommets. I did get a full, a full hole button. This thing is acting up. Oh, look at that too. Sweet. Is that brass? Where is this thing? Oh, and my, uh, my rolled over button. Is that an eagle? Yeah. Look at this folded in half eagle button. Crazy stuff comes out of these campsites from board <laughs> soldiers. So that's it for me, besides a percussion cap and a couple of grommets. But Mark had at least four 69s, a couple 69s, round balls, and three buttons. Well, oh, it's just going to be another buck ball. Nope, he's an iron. Gone digging. All right, I missed it. <laughs> No, I can't find it. <laughs> the tiniest piece of lead. Jesus. Mm. Alright. Little live dig this high town. It's a nice sounding town. So might as well, right? Mark Science just informed me that they dug a bunch of 69s in here, so I'd like to get on a couple of them. Uh-oh. Kind of overloading. And it's that nail right there. Old Beauregard nail. All right, just pop the plug, and this high tone is pretty strong out the hole. And there's a piece of glass right there. Look at that. Interesting. 
All right, let's see what we got here. it because everything I'm finding is so small look at that thing jeez god it's amazing how that little tiny thing can sound like blaring in the earphones crazy well we'll get back at it okay popped another high tone out this one sounds mighty good but what did I say about the last ones they were sounding awesome something miniature again <laughs> oh my god, another bug ball. Golly. Crazy stuff. We'll get back at it. If I find another buck ball, I may have to just stop filming for the day. So for all that small, small lead, oh, stick with him. I promise it's going to get better. It's just a bigger chunk of drip. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that stuff. Oh, shoot. We'll get back with it. All right, so I'm in a little spot. People have been digging a good amount of 69s and found one of the deepest bullet tones I could find in here. And it's right here on this sidewall. So I'm about to pluck it out. I hope. We have a 69 here and not a nail. It's probably a nail. I hope that's just a rock. Let's see what we got here. No, I don't. Would be that thing. What do we got? A flat piece of iron. Wow. That's incredible. All right, on to the next. All right, we got a really beautiful high tone out of the hole. Let's just listen to it. That's the kind of tone, once you pull it out and it's a high tone overloading, a lot of times it's either like a J hook or eagle button or something like that, but let's go ahead and see what we got. Ooh, look at that. <clears throat> it's gonna be an Eagle General Service. That's what it is, a shank. Still intact. Sweet one. Oh, sorry, blocking it from you. Sweet. Let's keep on going. Not gonna lie, this is probably the cleanest bullet tone I've heard all day. If this isn't a bullet, I might need to retire. This might be a piece of wire. Wire sounds exactly like that. This has to be a bullet. I would bet money I don't even have that this is a bullet. Let's investigate. Scan it again. That's for sure. Somewhere on this side. Digging on the wrong side. Uh oh 
That's some glass. That's a big old chunk of glass. That's always a good sign. But there's so much glass strewn across the ground, you never know. We'll get right back with you. I'm going to dig this out a little bit. Well, as I was widening the hole, I plopped her out. Barb was there to witness. <laughs> plopped her out, but I did kiss it. It's so sad to see. Alright, we'll get back with you. Alright, we got a screaming high time here. Although, it could just be like the normal fucking ball for me. Which pretty much sure enough is it's another bucking ball melted or I don't know what that is who knows what that is huh. interesting uh, we'll get back in got a high tone in the hole I think it might be at the bottom now Oh yeah, throw more up, more comes down. Let's see here. These pinpointers are absolutely God, I swear ridiculous I just saw on this ground. All right, well, something is down there, I believe. Yes, it is. Now let's just pray that it's something worthwhile. God, oh, what was that? I swear I just saw something. Maybe not. Oh, I did. It's a button or something. Right there, you see? Right there. Oh my gosh. It is a button. It has the shank, and it's a general service eagle button. Let's go. I'll take eagle buttons all day. Let's get back at it. This target right here is something good. It sounds spectacular out of the hole. And it's big. Oh, it's carved lead, melted lead, big old chunk of melted lead. Well, that's like three, three period targets in like three minutes, so there might be a little hot spot here. We'll get back with you. All right, I think there's a bullet on the ground right now. Flick this thing out, scanned it. Super heavy tone. <laughs> All right, so morning of day two. Not much has been found yet. Ross and them are still working on that hut or trash pit, might I say. Got the first target, first good target of the day. It's a belt stud. Those are always neat to find. It's right here in the sidewall. So, let's get back at it and see what we can find. Alright, we got a deep low tone. I've already pinpointed it. It's right in the center of the hole, so that's a good sign. It's about, I don't know, 12 inches deep. Let's pluck her out of here and see what we can get. It's a bullet. Ah, uh, round ball. <laughs> That's all right. We'll take it. <sighs> Trying to find some 69s in here. We'll get back with you when you find some. All right, we've got the hole open. Let's see if we can't find it. Was a low tone, 
It's a couple feet away from the last bullet I dug. So, hope it's another bullet. We shall see. There it is. Oh, baby, it is a 69 drop. Wow. Talk about a hunk of lead. Jeez Louise, that is a pretty drop through, or 69. Mm. Sweet, let's see if there's any more in here. Oh, it's a 69. It's always a good day if I have 69s. Oh, it's been hit by something. It's like they did a little messing with it. Hammered it out or something. Cool find. Be back with you when we get something else. So if you're ever interested in what going to an organized metal detecting like this is about, this is day one and there are three days of this. So you can tell it can get frustrating, uh, but it can be extremely rewarding, especially once you get on a spot and you get tuned in to the machine and your surroundings. So again, thanks to Matt for allowing us to share this video, to talk about some of the things that happen at some of these metal detecting events, and I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Oh, this eagle button just came out of the hole, but it just blew up. There's like flecks of it right here, look. There's the shield and the head of the neck of the eagle. Damn. That's all right. Still a find. Put it in the pouch and keep on chugging.